And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Kazakh Lambia, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. Kazakh Lambia was a Lambiosaurine that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Kazakhstan, in the Debrajan Formation. And as a quick reminder, Lambiosaurines are the hadrosaurs that have a big crest on their head, like Parasaurolophus, although I'm sure Kazakh Lambia doesn't have as big of a crest as Parasaurolophus did. It's hard to compete with that crest. <laughs> yeah. Kazakh Lambia had a bulky body, and it could walk on all fours, and it had a small, hollow crest on the top of its head. It's only a small crest. Mm -hmm. The femur was about 22 inches or 56 centimeters long, and the humerus was about 13 inches or 33 centimeters long. And it's estimated to weigh 846 pounds or 384 kilograms based on the length of its femur. That is very specific. Yes. But not that heavy. No. It is one of the earliest known Lambiosaurines. The type species is Kazaklambia convincens. And we talked a little bit about it in episode 350 in our Hadrosaur Hootenanny, but we covered a lot of Hadrosaurs in that episode. I'm glad I named that episode Hadrosaur Hootenanny, just so you <laughs> had to join in the fun. <laughs> Whenever we refer to it, yeah. And the genus name Kazakh Lambia means Kazakh Lambiosaurine, and it refers to where it was found. The species name, Convincens, refers to the, quote, conviction that this specimen proved a Cretaceous age for the Dabrazinskaya Svita. That's really funny. They named it Convincens after the conviction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> it was originally described in 1968 as Prochenosaurus Convincens, so it always had that conviction. But it was by Anatoly Rozdesvensky. It was also referred to Carithosaurus for a while. And then in 2013, Phil Bell and Kirsten Brink named it Kazaklambia. In 1990, Weishampel and Horner, and again in 2004, Horner, synonymized it with Jaxartosaurus arulensis. But then in 2000, Norman and Sue said that the two, Kazaklambia and Jaxartosaurus, had enough differences and were found in different stratigraphic locations. So it made sense to keep. Well, at the time, Prochenosaurus convincens, because it hadn't been named Kazaklambia yet, as a distinct taxon. But they thought it was a questionable dinosaur and suggested it may need a replacement generic name. Now, by 2013, Prochenosaurus was no longer considered to be a valid genus, so Prochenosaurus convincens needed to be redescribed and renamed. Oh, I see. So it didn't really get split from Prochenosaurus. Prochenosaurus was completely invalidated, but they had a, a other than the type species of that genus, Convincens was in there, so that they needed to make a new genus mm -hmm. for Convincens. That's an interesting way to have a dinosaur get a new genus name. Yeah. So that in 2013, Bell and Brink did it, and they said Kazakh Lambia, formerly Prochenosaurus Convincens, was different enough in its dome to have this name. They also found it to have a different growth trajectory from other juvenile Lambiosaurines. And then in 2016, Albert Prieto Marquez and others confirmed the type specimen for Kazakh Lambia. These fossils were found in 1961 by G.A. Belenki. Kazakh Lambia is known from a nearly complete juvenile. It's only missing the snout, front of the lower jaws, end of the tail, and some back vertebrae due to erosion. It's the most complete hadrosaur found in Kazakhstan. The mandible, or jaw, is broken in the front and the teeth were poorly preserved. It had a low, hollow nasal crest, similar to the Prochenosaurus found in Alberta, Canada. But it had a better developed crest compared to North American Lambiosaurines. It's possible the crest developed early in Kazakh Lambia. Kazakh Lambia, or Kazakh Lambia, may be closely related to basal Lambiosaurines from Asia, such as Amurosaurus and Sintausaurus, and it helps to show that Lambiosaurines may have originated in Asia. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left. <laughs> 